snap refilled. Praise the Lord. I'm about to go to the grocery store. I'm excited. I'm excited because I have an ability to obtain food again. And I'm right by this church where you saw me the other day. Maybe I'll link it in this video. Send me to rehab right now. I'll survive it just fine. Um, I need to. It's winter. I'm homeless. And if you just remember, the reason I left rehab in August was there was absolutely no path beyond them 30 days for any resources that were supposed to be available for housing. There was zero. There was nothing. They didn't know what time dinner was. That's why I left because there weren't any cops and adults in there. And it was summer, so I had to try to do what I could do to not be homeless. And going to rehab I had already taken six weeks to get into. There wasn't any resources there for a home at all. After the 30 days was up, it was just going to be colder and I would have no better positioning in life. Now, let's just go right now because it's winter. If you can even get in rehab, church still closed and people sleep outside. We saw a man sleeping right there when I was saying, what can you do? Is anybody able to help? And I know a couple things about Penny Adams. She's a good woman. She still is. She cared about me enough to help. To help me about the time it was this time last year. And I went back to see my dad. Because probably a lot of you thought seeing my dad and me was going to be the right thing. There ain't nothing wrong with that. You probably didn't also know my dad made me homeless in 2016. I did know that. And I had sort of fear concerns about going to see my dad while homeless. Didn't think it was going to work out. Guess what? My dad was having sleepovers with a seven-year-old boy. And he left me in a house with no water. One of the reasons, I will tell anybody, USA Today, NBC Nightly News, MSNBC, one of the reasons I left the poorest county in the United States. One of the reasons, not the most important, but one of the reasons I left my dad's house, the 6,000 square foot house, was so I could try to obtain fresh, clean drinking water elsewhere in the United States of America. That was not okay with me to keep staying there like that. It's not okay with me that there's a man sleeping right there when there's snow on the ground. So I'm going to go to church. My plan, if I survive to Sunday, I'm going to this church and I'm going to be asking them too. Why do you have a homeless man sleeping out here about pretty much every night? I also could tell they got plexiglass or something. They're repairing that window. Maybe there's some things going on. Maybe the Lord's pumped me here for a good reason. I can't wait to go to church. Penny Adams is a good woman. I don't want to call her a chunky one, but she does post a whole lot about snacks. I think she knows I'm homeless still. I think she doesn't like it. I think she could be doing something better. I think she could be standing right by my side in some way and just saying, this isn't good enough because that's what the parent I have who was not sleeping with a seven-year-old boy in 2023. That's what she always said and she always did something about it when things weren't good enough every time that she could. So maybe, maybe we can all just agree, Nathan's right and Rita was right. It is possible. I know that Penny Adams would move heaven and earth if her sons were worried about going to the grocery store on a snap cart and not knowing for sure if I get food, will I be able to eat it where I'm staying or will I just have to end up leaving the food there and being hungry later, because that's happened to me plenty of times. I know that Penny Adams would not stand for that for two seconds. So why is she standing for it when I have to? And why is she posting so much about snacks, knowing I'm homeless, knowing I'm hungry? It just ain't right. And I am the voice of McDowell County. For anybody who doesn't know who Penny Adams is, this woman had the courage to call herself the president of the Economic Development Authority of McDowell County. That woman believed in an impossible dream that she could believe she could bring economic prosperity to the poorest place in the United States of America. I need people that are that strong to be by my side. Penny, I hope you get right by my side some way. I miss you very much. I miss your smile. I miss your laughter. I would like some of your snack recipes when I have a home I can put them in. That is part of my best life, is you in it, Penny. For the he just needs to get a job people, I would encourage you to do a good job 
and watch two videos, two other ones. One is called The Best Free Advice, and the other one is another one in the You Show This to Your Kids series. You show this person to your kids. I went to a temp agency this morning, and you'll find out what happened specifically there. And in the other video, the best free advice, you'll find out about all of the things I've already been doing to go back to work. Tough times don't last. Tough people do. This is a picture of me on my front porch, but I haven't had one of those things in 517 days. One thing Penny Adams and I have in common is we love front porch sitting. Penny, do you remember that bio sheet I had when I was a project director for West Virginia University? Do you remember that? Well, on this bio sheet, it talks about how I love front porch sitting back when I had a front porch. Guess what West Virginia University did? They gave me a award for excellence, and then they laid me off in the same month. If you're in West Virginia, here's somebody we should all recognize. This is Dr. Gordon Gee, president of West Virginia University. He told me once, if you ever need anything, Nathan, give me a call. Guess what? I needed something before my dad made me homeless. I called him. He never called me back. Maybe, and I know he's not wearing West Virginia University colors. He's not even wearing University of Colorado colors either, even though he was president at Boulder about the time John Benet Ramsey died. But the thing is, he knows people. Maybe he'd agree if someone's calling themselves the voice of McDowell County and they're in Denver, Colorado, maybe he could help. It is possible. Guess who else read that bio sheet and apparently liked it pretty good because he told me, West Virginia University might not honor their commitment to McDowell County. Nathan, you need to fight like hell. Guess who that was? That was Mr. Jack Caffrey. Here's a picture of Mr. Jack Caffrey, just in case any boomers out there are forgetful and forgot what's right doesn't change, and Nathan doesn't hate old people. He actually loves and respects the ones that agree what's right doesn't change. I wonder what might be possible in the name of Mr. Jack Caffrey, Cecil Patterson. Ta-da! You have survived watching this video. I am the voice of McDowell County. Here's me in McDowell County in 2023 in front of the largest mural in the state, completed by my father, who in 2023 was having sleepovers with a seven-year-old boy, and now I'm 16 times more likely to need the best of West Virginia. And I don't know if that's Senator Manchin, since he's had my Uncle Mike's portrait on free loan beginning in 2017, and I've never seen it since. Maybe the best of West Virginia could just do the right thing and help me not be homeless anymore as quickly as possible by whatever means necessary and help me stay happy and healthy in Colorado. What a concept. This is stuck. That's what we're dealing with today. I'm homeless. Portrait has been there since 2017. I think it would be great if people just helped me a little bit. So now I'm now dealing with because I have to lock the door my feet are freezing cold and Tom is mad at me because I'm not there yet. And my, I'm freezing wet, cold. I have nowhere to go. Let me just push pause right there. And Here is a picture of what my phone looked like in August. I still have the same phone and I sure have seen multiple homeless friends of mine die right after their phone dies. How weird. I would like to tell you, I've already done the heavy lifting for you. Remember those two other videos I referenced earlier in this video? Well, I'm linking the playlist in the Facebook post and also in this YouTube description. So you can just watch one video right after the other and hopefully agree Nathan's right.